Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in DayZ, and we're going to go over the DayZ patch notes for experim experimental version, excuse me, 1.17. Again, for PC, uh, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, the only reason, like, technically, there is no uh, experimental for PlayStation, but just so you know, these are the changes that are going to come to main branch for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So it is still pertinent to PlayStation, even though I know you guys can't access the experimental version but hey these are the changes that are coming for the active uh once these do hit polish so uh here we go we already reload our our fancy weapon <laughs> hip shot okay here we go we have the cr 550 savannah rifle uh that's been added to the game we have the longhorn pistol we have the p1 pistol and this one i'm very excited about we have the craftable spear bone and stone head variants, uh, super huge. Stone spear, or bone spear was such an OP weapon. I'm so glad we've got that back. Pitchfork, uh, craftable bone knife. Ooh, that's very fancy. Uh, edge weapons are always good. Um, so hey, there is a reason to take out freshies at the spawn, right? Uh, cleaver, meat tenderizer, kitchen timer, craftable fire stand. Brooms can be lit and used as torches, hello. Improvised clothes from rags, that's real nice. Improvised rope, they were kidding about the craftable stuff. Uh, real quick, I did do uh, a summary uh, post on this, or a video. I'm gonna go ahead and link that now in the upper right hand corner, Deloop. kind of giving you the basic rundown. Uh, these are just the patch notes, I don't know if I said that initially, but there's so many I wanted to break it up into two different, uh, what do you call it, videos. Okay, improvised gas mask filter, that's awesome. Gas mask filters can now be refilled using charcoal tablets. That's huge. Sensitivity settings for various scope options. Also really, really nice. And this is the biggest change. And I go over this a lot in the summary. The control scheme options are awesome. They have brought back things that have been gone for a hot minute. Very, very excited for that. Uh, bark can but now be harvested with axes now. Awesome. Cookware is slowly getting damaged by uh, being used, uh, as it should be. Gas mask filters can get damaged while in use. Uh, voice activation setting for voice chat, also huge. It's mostly for console side. I know PC doesn't really have that uh, problem, but again, this will come for both PlayStation and Xbox. It is currently out. I don't know if I said this either. It's currently out on Experimental uh, for Xbox and, and PC or Steam. And um, as soon as it does hit Live Branch, it will come to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Just so you know. Uh, new point of interest on Livonia. Awesome. We'll be hitting that up, definitely. Okay, these are the fixes. Uh, the sound of hitting an obstacle with a vehicle while reversed wasn't played, uh, so that's been fixed. Dropped items were pushed upwards in certain situations. Also good that's been fixed because it was always kind of a fight for us on the console side because the way the... We don't have loot Tetris, but um, it, yeah, it would push our, our view window up so our scrolling would get messed up, so that's, that's awesome. Uh, during punching, the player would turn sideways in some situations. Also good for the Freshy Showdowns uh, Supreme on the shoreline. Uh, the sound of the Sarka... 120 engine came from the front wheel, whereas the engine is in the back. Shelters weren't buildable in some places. Uh, a burned out fireplace is no longer producing light. Uh, again, these are fixes. Canceling activation of the bear trap and landmine caused errors. The visual effect of the contaminated area partly persisted after it was despawned. Uh, focused zoom briefly reset during several actions on the first person. Hair clipped with MVG head strap on female characters. Uh, an incorrect texture of ruined wheels caused a server error on restart. Yikes. Fixed rendered exploits related to buildings. Uh, fixed, uh, I'm sorry, players could climb through closed windows on some buildings. Uh, the player were able to pick up the fire barrel while items were still attached to it. The sound of starting stopping engine was not present for other players. It's always important we're on the same page. Uh, the sound of opening and closing attachments was not present for other players. The sound of turning on and off the alarm clock. Alarm clock? Wasn't audible for other players. The alarm clock? Say what? A staircase handrail was missing a collision. Uh, the attachment icon didn't correctly reflect attached optics on rails on weapons. Uh, attaching more nails to the flagpoles caused errors. Uh, sharpened wooden sticks caused errors when damaged. Uh, filtering server by favorite gives error, uh, nine in server browser, uh, traps did not, uh, react to vehicles. That's so cool that they do now. Oh, that's going to be so good. Light and heavy melee attack combinations would sometimes result in too much damage. Fixed several environmental issues on Chinaris and Livonia. Uh, changed, reworked, reworked, reworked Nizoy, 
Re Reserved? <laughs> oh, man. My brain. Uh, village on Chinaris. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, adding a favorite server when already at max will throw an error instead of removing a random favorite. VoIP uh, any is not available while in inventory. If uh, voice active, if VA is active, the player can keep speaking though. Voice activation. Uh, VoIP push to talk and toggle voice activation has been moved to the D-pad down to D-pad left. Uh, VoIP volume range up and down has been added. Huge, 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 huge. Um, we have not had that unless you were playing with mouse and keyboard on PlayStation or Xbox. It's always been in the game, but it's nice we have a new uh, schema. Cycle firing mode has been moved from D-pad left to LT, i.e. when in raised hands is D-pad right. Uh, when, well, I'm sorry, while in vehicle accelerate, now behaves as an axis and can be modulated instead of being on and off. Awesome. Yeah, that's, so we have more of a throttle instead of like a, like they're saying, like an on and off, that's that's really big for cars. If anybody's taken the simulation game, or if you played Dirt Rally 2, you know what we're talking about. Heavy attack is now triggered by Y instead of hold Y. Nice. Uh, a new optional control scheme has been added. We talked about that. Mike continues to listen to the player uh, for 0.5 seconds after they let go of the push to talk button. All heat sources are now emitting heat. Drain and pour liquid actions are now properly separated. Adjusted the wolf model to allow more precise headshots. Beautiful. Burning duration of torches now correctly depends on the amount of fuel. Awesome, awesome. Especially because everything's environmentally uh, is trying to kill you. Uh, it's really good that that's the thing now. Uh, cooking without lard and water now reduces the weight of the burned food. Really? That's interesting. Uh, weapon sway increases while the character is rolling. Fireplaces start heating up the player character faster now. Beautiful. Position of light source for the Sarka. Uh, 120 when only a single headlight is on is set to the proper position. Beautiful, beautiful. Players are no longer able to get into a vehicle while holding a heavy item. <gasps> no! No, they took that out. No! I was hoping with the player schemas we'd be able to get back into cars. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's rough. I wonder if we can steal two-hand stuff on the way in. Anyway, stone knives can no longer be sharpened with sharpening stones. Uh, update to the game credits. Uh, known issues. And again, this is for the experimental, and these can get polished up over the next weeks. Um, but it probably won't take months. But uh, wrong attack animation for spears. Item icons in inventory are sometimes shaking flashing. Weapons won't fire with while holding shift key when using mouse and keyboard controls again this can be for pc and also for us on mouse and keyboard servers uh, there is an incorrect animation of the ejecting ammo after the last shot for some rifles and shotguns while climbing a ladder light is emitted when even the source of light i.e torch is hidden items in inventory or dropped on the ground are not gaining the wet status properly interesting improvised face cover is clipping with hair on some female characters wrong holding animation of the left hand when aiming with pistols so there you go that's what we have so far those are the patch notes for the experimental version of daisy 1.17 uh, things will be polished there'll be small little uh, patches and fixes uh, we will be playing this on the xbox to give both playstation and xbox an idea of what's coming for us in that next update uh, whenever the major update does happen they've been going at a pretty good clip with this stuff to be fairly honest so i don't think it'll be that long uh, yeah, so I mean, if, chances are, if you're watching this, we're probably live streaming right now. Or we just did one, so you can always check it out on the channel. A good reason to subscribe and turn on that notification bell, as we are all about that open world survival action, whether it's Rust, Daisy, um, even Icarus, right? I mean, shoot, we try them all. Conan? Anybody remember Conan? All right, uh, if you did find these useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, love ya, bye. Let's see if we can dome some of these dudes. We do have admin, so I don't think we'll ever run out of bullets, I don't think. Oh, yeah, tango down.